well, Saturday is National Catfish Day. In 1987, President Ronald Reagan designated June 25th as National Catfish Day, and he did this by presidential proclamation. Well, of course, we didn't want to pass the day up, right? So we're celebrating it just a little early. WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson is in the community kitchen with our very own outdoors bound George Nolliff there. Good day to both of you. What are you cooking up? Good day to you and everybody at home. Of course, like you said, we had to enlist our very own George Nolliff to talk about some delicious catfish. See what I did? Big, old, a big, big, old, big, old, catfish. big old catfish. Some delicious catfish. So, George, People just don't understand. We are spoiled here at Good Day Virginia because you're in this kitchen and you are whipping up some delicious fish we've had in the past. So how do you make your catfish? This is a little bit different. Um, I like to just do a, a straight breading and, and deep fry. Mm -hmm. And so what I've got here is I've got kind of an assembly line going. I've got some seasoned flour here. I just okay. put the fish in the baggie, shake it up, boom, you're floured. You run the piece through some egg, which I have here. Just a little, it's just, just, a, like, just yeah. an egg. I put, beat the egg up. Beat it up. Yep. And then I've got breadcrumb here. This happens to be panko because I got fancy this morning. Look at you. Yeah, I'm all international. <laughs> so anyway, I've got the fish. I run it like that. And here's the, here's the, the you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. you just dip it. As in, you see, I step back. Yeah, dip it into that oil and okay. we're going to give it probably about two or three minutes. Now, how hot should your oil be? I like to have it right around 350 if mm -hmm. you've got a kitchen thermometer. Otherwise, you know, just kind of, you know, you get a feel for it. Yeah. This goes quick. I mean, this is, you know, in and we're going to flip that. And so let's talk about while we're waiting just a maybe a couple more seconds when it comes to catfish. You know, you've taught me so much when it comes to fishing here in our area. Um, how many different types of varieties of catfish do we have in here? We've got multiple. Um, you've got the big ones like the blues. Mm -hmm. uh, you got whites and channels, which are, and then you've also got flatheads. Mm -hmm. And those are. Wow, and, and, look at that. Yeah. You know, I like mine extra crispy and too. Browns up real nice. Look at that. That's nice. Those are all of Available here, we, we live in one of the best catfishing areas of the country. Mm -hmm. And Smith Mountain Lake, if you've ever had the chance to have a, a channel out of there, that's some good eating. That's what we have here. This is what we have yeah. right here. All right. Well, you know, not only do we like to talk about some delicious food, but we also like to talk about hot sauce. <laughs> For months now, we have been having a huge debate in the newsroom about the best hot sauce. What's your favorite hot sauce? I kind of like Texas Pete, but I also like Frank's. Now, See, he said Frank's. <laughs> I'm a Frank's you, girl. You should be in the newsroom with us because, I mean, it almost <laughs> comes to blows sometimes. People, I mean, it, it depends on your region. So, yeah, but I, I like Frank's. Okay, now. so before we wrap up, I'm just going to I'm gonna cut a little bit that you just made because I like a hat, and I'm going to add a little dab. Do, 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 because no better way to have catfish than with some hot sauce, Frank, hot sauce. I'm going to toss it back to you, uh, Charmaine and Kara. Mmm, George, you do it every time. <laughs> every time. We, we heard Texas, Texas Pete. Pete, right? They're Texas Pete. So that's Pete. three Texas Pete's to your friends there. I like Texas he Pete. He said Texas Frank. Pete. 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 <laughs> I'm all about the love. Come on. <laughs> well, we will settle this debate once oh, and yeah. for all.